Welcome back to Top 3D Cuts. Uh, in today's tutorial, what I want to do is go over uh, the three main ways that I do video clip transitions, uh, going from one clip to another. And really, the first one's going to be up here in the Effects tab. Uh, this video transitions, the built-in ones here. And the other one's going to be how to manually create your own. And specifically, the ones I want to do are a cross dissolve and a fade out, fade in. Lastly, the third one is going to be how to use video filters to also create an interesting transition. So first thing, I'm going to go ahead and save my project. And also, I want to pull in some practice footage that I can work with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my playhead here and go forward just a little bit, hit I for an endpoint, and then I want to come along here towards the end and do an O for out point. Uh, now, the reason why I'm not using the whole clip is because I need a handle. This part right here is called the handle. You got it before your endpoint and after your out point. You can think of it like handle, um, like handles on a handlebar uh, riding a bicycle. Um, basically, whenever you use a built-in transition, it's going to use this media right here to transist into this video clip. Uh, if you don't have this, it's not going to work, and I'll show you how and why later. Um, but first, let me go ahead and load this up. And let me get another clip to work with so that I actually have something to transist into. I think I'll just uh, grab a section of this. Okay, so I'm clicking, dragging, and insert that as well. Uh, and let me change my perspective so you can see this a little bit better. I'm going to do this by going down here in the bottom left. And it looks like these little uh, bars here will change that for you. It doesn't change anything, just how you look at it. And also, I'm going to do Option Plus on my keyboard. It's going to expand that a little so I can see it better. And what I want to show you is this effect up here. Now, if you don't see this Effect tab, uh, what you can do is hit Command-5, and that will bring that Effects tab open. Uh, also, you can go up to Window and Effects. That also brings it open. Uh, the first one I want to show you, though, the top two that I use are really just cross dissolves and fade-in, fade-outs. Um, basically, you want to have a story that doesn't distract you with uh, certain transitions and stuff. You want it to be elegant and really unnoticeable. Uh, so what you want to do is, uh, whenever you're bringing these things down, the transitions, go ahead and click on the icon and bring this right down in here like this. And be careful not to click and drag from the text here. You don't want to be doing it this way. You want to click directly on this little icon here. Click drag, pull it down here, hold it, and let's see, you don't want to go on the left one and you don't want to go on the right one, you want to go right in the middle like that. So let's see what that did. Okay, see how that dissolved those two together? Um, actually, what I want to do is bring down the volume on this so it's not so annoying. There's a toggle switch down there on the bottom left. You should put a black line and a pink line. Now the pink line is your audio levels, and I can just bring that down and same thing for this one. Uh, the black line is your opacity, which I'll get into later. Um, but if you look here, when I bring the mouse, I just come right up to this edge, I get this little symbol with the mouse, and then I want to stretch this out. This is going to increase the length of time that these two things dissolve into each other. So, watch this. See, it takes a little bit longer there. Okay, I'm going to right click, go to cut. And I want to show you this other one that I like using, the fade in, fade out. Put it right in between those two. Fades out, fades in. It's real quick. I can stretch this out, make it a little bit longer. Okay. So those are kind of my favorite built-in transitions here using this. Um, but I want to show you uh, something else because you're going to run into these technical problems at some point or another. So I might as well just get to that. All right, I'm going to delete this. And go back to my media here. Let's see. Okay. 
I'm going to do Option X. Option X removes your in point and your out point. Um, so I'm basically left with this whole clip here. Now, if you do not set an in point or an out point, Final Cut just automatically knows that the in point is the very beginning and the out point is the very end. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this. And bring that down a little bit smaller so you can see it. And also, let's see, I'll bring this one in here and do this one as well. Clear those out. Insert. Okay, so neither of these have a handle because they don't have in or out points. Just the whole clip's lined up in there. Okay, so watch what happens whenever I go over here and try to drag a, a, a transition between these clips. See, it won't even let me. It's just going to give me like this little X, this little error. Won't even work. However, uh, I'm going to show you a way to do this for cross dissolve and for fade in, fade out. Now what I want to do is come over here to my toolbar and I want to select my pen tool. You can also hit P on the keyboard that goes to the pen tool. And what I want to be doing is, uh, here let me make, make this a little bigger for you. Okay, so what I want to be doing is putting two points on here and this opacity level right now is at the very top, it means 100%, so watch, 1.2, uh, I'm going to click on the second one, drag it down here into the corner until it says zero like that. So it's going from 100% opacity, and then it goes down to zero, fades out. Now I'm going to do the opposite here. Two points, bring this one down into the corner like that until it says zero in that little yellow highlight there. And now I've effectively done a fade out, fade in, without using any handles. And that one fades in. Okay. And get a little space to work with here. Um, I'm going to go back to my pointer tool. Always go back to this selection tool uh, after you're done using these other tools because if I didn't go back to that tool and I tried clicking and dragging, which I'm about to do, uh, would it give me maybe some problems since I was on the pen tool? So what I want to do is bring this up to another layer, so just another video track, and now I have the freedom to kind of slide this around to wherever I want it to. But what I want to do is slide this so that just part of it is going to be over the end of this clip here. And what's going to happen is this one fades out, all right, and this top one is going to fade in. And effectively, this is going to be the same thing as a cross dissolve, because it's crossing each other. It almost looks like you know part of a cross kind of coming this way. So watch this. Okay, and if you wanted, you could actually extend these out, make these last a little bit longer. All right, now, last thing I want to show you is how to do a transition using filters. Now, filters can really have some creative effects, um, especially whenever you get into some of these other interesting ones here. But let me just go ahead and show you this. All right, so I'm going to come down here to video filters, get this ready. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and put some video clips in. Set this up. I'm going to do an in point. Make sure I have an out point here. Insert it into the timeline. And let's see, I'll do this one. This is just driving down the street and do a little clip here and so maybe I'll end it there. Insert that. Okay, so now I've got these two clips here. Let me show you what it looks like. And I know that volume is probably going to be annoying, so I'm going to bring it down. All right. Okay. Now what I want to do for this example is just use one of these video filters. Now there's a whole bunch of them. You can actually make some really neat stuff doing this, um, but for now I think I'm going to just go to brightness and contrast and I'm going to blow this out. Um, now when you transist, adding white light like this, it kind of adds energy to the scene as opposed to um, if you were to fade it out. Fading it out kind of slows things down. Um, it changes direction of what you're doing a lot of times. So I'm going to bring this filter down. Now watch this. 
When I bring this down, I don't want to click here from the text. I just want to click right here on the filter itself. Click, drag it down here, drop it on my first clip. Now this part's important. Look up here. I don't have any dots on this line, this bar. I'm going to double click this clip that I just put the filter on. Okay, double clicked it. And now you see I've got these dots here. These dots on this bar mean that this clip I'm editing is in the timeline. Okay, so this clip of the arch here, it's anything that I do to it is going to directly affect this down in the timeline. All right, so watch, even if I move this endpoint over a little bit, it'll have a direct correspondence. Let me move that back. Okay, so now that I've drag my filter down in here, double click it so that I can edit it in the viewer. What I want to do is go to this tab up here on the top called filters. So I'm going to click my filters tab. Next thing I want to do, make sure my playhead is in the right position. What I want to do is get my playhead really close to the end of this clip here. I'll maybe give it just a second to, to go into this transition. And so I've got it set up here and what I want to do up here in the filters tab is key it. Keying means it kind of think of it like a lock and key you're basically locking something in place so at this point in the timeline i'm locking this value of zero brightness zero contrast then what i want to do is just take my playhead move it right up in between these two clips now it snaps right in there look if it doesn't snap you probably have snapping turned off and this should you know mostly be on all you always want it on unless you know for some reason you don't um, but if it's off, watch, this just kind of glides right over that. It makes it hard to go right in between. But if it's on, whenever you do that, it snaps it right in between them. So once I snap right in between them, I'm going to hit my left arrow key once. That puts me on the very last frame of this clip here, and I can see what's going on in my canvas so I know what I'm doing. Okay, next, go back to my viewer window, and this is where... I want to change the brightness. I want, I want this to be 100% right here. So I'm going to bring that up. So if you kind of see this, what happened was I went from zero brightness and it increased right here up to 100%. And this is what it looks like when I play it for just this first, uh, first clip. See how it blew out like that? Now I want to do the same thing onto this clip but kind of opposite. So uh, I came about the same distance over, about a second over from the front. All right, I'm going to go back over here, grab my filter. A actually, you know what? I want to show you something. Uh, you can grab filters from here and, and copy them down to uh, other clips anywhere in your timeline. Um, but that'll actually copy the exact same settings. And right now, I don't want the exact same settings. So uh, I'll, I'll bring it from here and start from fresh. So take this filter, click on the icon, dra drag this over drop it there and now I'm going to double click it. Okay, make sure it's the right one. I got double dots here. Go back to my filters tab and what I want to do is key these here at zero. Right now take my playhead, put it right here at the very front of my clip uh, in between those two and this is where I want to bring it up to 100% because what I'm doing in this case uh, I'm, I'm going from 100% back down to normal, to zero. And uh, watch, this is what I created. Okay, and there you have it. You can do all kinds of different filters. Uh, I, I suggest playing around with these. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with them. And that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in to Top 3D Tuts and more videos to come soon.